Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today I have an energizing full body Pilates workout for you. So when you are ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class on our hands and our knees to gently warm up our spine. On your exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Then inhale, arch your spine and look slightly up. Keep going. Exhale as you round and inhale as you arch. Moving with your breath here, starting to pair your breath with your movements. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Come to your neutral spine now, really draw your navel in and curl your toes under. Exhale, lift your knees off the floor, then inhale, tap them down. So exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Just two more. And last one, hold your knees lifted. On your inhale, press your hips back, keeping your knees bent. Then exhale, shift forward back to that knee hover. And again, inhale as you press back, exhale as you shift forward. Really bringing your shoulders over your wrists, keeping your knees hovering off the floor. Beautiful job. On this next one, press back and this time straighten your legs, finding your downward facing dog. Take a moment here to take a deep breath in and a big exhale out. Good job. Walk your hands back towards your feet, keeping a soft bend through your knees, roll your spine up to standing. With your feet hip distance apart in parallel, reach your arms up to the sky. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, pull your elbows back. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, come back up to standing. Keep going. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, pull your elbows back. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, stand up. Really make sure that as you hinge forward, that you're shifting your weight back into your heels, keeping your spine nice and straight and really lifting up through your navel. Well done. Heel toe your feet out now so that they are mat distance apart with your toes turned out. On your inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, squat exhale press really reaching your arms by your ears as you sit low in your squat finding lots of length through your spine make sure that your knees are stacked over your toes and you're really pressing your knees out shifting your weight back into your heels on your next one hold a low in your squat lift your left heel as you swing your arm back and then lower as you reach the arm forward. Then other side, and then swing both arms back as you lift both heels. So a little bit of a combo here. Try to keep your hips nice and low here, really bending into your knees, working those glutes. Well done. Hold your arms forward now with your heels down and pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you've got it, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Lift your chest. Bring your feet back to hip distance apart. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, dive forward. Let's walk our hands out now, finding our strong plank. So shoulders over wrists, really draw your navel in. Tap your right knee down, then extend, and then open up into your side plank on your right arm, 
and then back to center. So right knee taps and then open to your side plank on your right arm. Keep going. Just working this one side first. Hold in your plank now and let's just alternate tapping knees for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one well done press back into your downward facing dog walk your hands to your feet and roll back up to standing take a nice inhale then exhale tuck your chin in roll yourself down and walk out to plank then walk your hands back to your feet and roll back up keep going Try to keep your hips nice and still as you walk your hands forward and back using the strength of your abdominals here. And one more. Well done. Hold in your plank. Let's do the other side. Left knee taps, extend, then open to side plank on your left arm this time. Keep going, you tap and open to plank. Just three more, two, and last one. Good job. Hold in your plank and this time tap both knees down to the floor and extend. You tap and extend. You've got it. Seven more, six, five, four, three, two more, and last one. So good, lower your knees and lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Come up onto your forearms, roll your shoulders back, and let's take a moment here to just release any tension in our spine, open through your heart, and just take deep breaths. Beautiful. Lower your chest down, take your hands under your shoulders and press up and back into your child's pose. Good job. Let's roll our spine up to seated now and come onto your glutes with your legs in front of you. Vertebra by vertebra, let's roll ourselves all the way down onto our back. Imprint your spine, so press your lower back down into the mat and then lift your legs to a tabletop position. Reach your arms up to the sky and let's start by extending our right leg out as you reach your left arm over and then back to center. Other side, exhale, extend, inhale, center. Just eight more like this. Really make sure here that you're keeping your ribs drawing down towards your hips and that you're not flaring through your rib cage. We really want to keep our core nice and engaged. Last one. Good job. Let's extend both arms and legs out now and then pull your knees in and lift your head and shoulders up. So inhale, lower your head, extend your legs and your arms and then exhale, curl up, pull your knees in. Keep going. Really sweeping your arms out and around to the side as you curl your head and shoulders up. You've got it. Use your breath to help you. Make sure that you keep your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest. Just one more. Hold in your curl and let's take some bicycle legs. You switch and switch. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Really reach through your hands. Two and one. Well done, hug your knees in and rest your head down. Feel free to take little circles with your legs if that feels good for you. 
and then extend your legs out long and reach your arms by your ears. Let's do our roll ups. So inhale, roll up, exhale, round over your legs, inhale, roll back down a vertebra by vertebra and exhale, arms reach overhead. Keep going. Really squeeze your legs together here to help you. Doing this with as much control as you can. This is your last one. Good job. Let's take our arms down by our side now and imprint your spine again. Lift your legs to a tabletop position and this time let's cross our right ankle over our left. On your exhale, tap your toes down, inhale lift, then exhale lift your hips up and inhale lower. So exhale toes tap, inhale lift, exhale hips lift, inhale lower. Just three more. Really using our lower abdominals here Try not to swing your legs to lift your hips. I want you to use your core. Good job. Take your hands behind your head now, lift your head and shoulders, and let's take left elbow to right knee. You twist and center. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Eight more. Seven and six. Five, you've got it, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your head, take your hands down by your side and switch the crossing of your ankles. Let's repeat it. Exhale, tap, inhale, lift. Exhale, lift your hips, inhale, lower. Just four more. Trying to do this with as much control as you can. Resist using the momentum to help you. I really want you to use your abs instead. Last one. Good job. Hands behind your head again. Lift your head and shoulders. And let's twist to the left and center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Eight more. You've got it. Really try to bring your elbow to your knee. Five. Four three two more and last one good job rest your head hug your knees in and then let's come up onto our side now brush off any sand if you're at the beach like me but let's come on to our right forearm make sure your right elbow is underneath your shoulder your bottom knee is bent and your top leg is extended. Lift your hips up, then inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Really getting into our waist now, working the side of our abs and our obliques. Just two more. And last one. Hold your hips lifted. Take your top hand behind your head with your elbow wide. Exhale, turn your chest to the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift your leg. Inhale, lower. So you twist, open, lift your leg and lower. Try to keep your hips as lifted as you can, really pressing out of your shoulder, working the full body here. You've got it, just a couple more. Maybe lift that leg a little bit higher if you can. And last one, hold your leg lifted, reach your arm by your ear and let's lift the leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one so good lower your leg down let's press up onto our hip take a nice inhale reach your right arm up and exhale side bend over to your left beautiful job everyone 
guess what? Let's flip our legs to the other side and do that all over again on the other side. So come onto your left forearm, bend your bottom knee and extend your top leg. Lift your hips and let's lower our hips down and up. Nice inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure here that your hips are nice and square to the front of the room and that you're really pressing down through your shoulder, lifting up through the side of your waist. Last one, hold your hips lifted, take your hand behind your head and let's return to our combo. So exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, lift the leg, inhale, lower. Keep going. Moving at your own pace here. We are working our obliques, working our glutes, as well as our shoulders. So really use your breath to help you. Stay with me. And one more. Good job. Hold your leg lifted, reach your arm by your ear and pulse the leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Good job. Lower your leg, press up onto your hip. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right. Amazing job, everyone. Let's come to our hands and our knees now and lower down onto our belly. Stack your hands on top of one another, bending your elbows, and rest your forehead on your hands. With your legs mat distance apart, bend your knees and glue your toes together. Draw your navel in, and then exhale, lift your toes up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Really using your glutes to lift your knees and your thighs off the floor, but keeping your forehead rested on your hands. You've got it. Really send your toes up towards the sky, activating your glutes. Last one, hold your legs lifted. Exhale, extend your legs out, then inhale, bend your knees. So exhale, extend, inhale, bend. Trying to keep your thighs off the floor, really squeezing your glutes, staying as relaxed through your upper body as you can, and really trying to lift up through your navel. You've got it. On this next one, hold your legs extended, then lift your chest off the floor, keeping your forehead on your hands, and let's beat our heels together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one well done lower everything down close your legs inhale press yourself up and exhale press back to a well-deserved child's pose take a moment here to release any tension through your lower back and then shift forward again to your hands and your knees this time coming to a push-up position with your hands directly underneath your shoulders, inhale, bend your elbows, and exhale, press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Really bending your elbows close by your waistline, working your triceps. Use your breath to help you. You've got it. Keep drawing your navel in, never forgetting about our strong core. Good job. Lower yourself all the way down to your belly now. Release your arms back. Lift your chest off the floor now. Roll your shoulders back and keep your gaze down. Let's flip our palms down to the mat and up. So they rotate down and up. 
just breathing naturally here. Nice inhales and exhales. You've got it. Now keep the flips going, but let's add a lift. So your arms lift up and up as you flip the palms down and up. You've got it. Try to keep your chest as lifted as you can. Only eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your head down. Maybe take your head onto your hands. Take a little siesta. Not for too long though. Okay, hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, curl your toes under and press back into your downward facing dog. Let's walk our hands back towards our feet and roll back up to standing. Take your feet mat distance apart with your toes turned out and your hands behind your head. Let's squat down and then pull opposite elbow to opposite knee. So you squat, twist, squat, and twist. Nice inhale as you squat, exhale as you twist. You've got to keep your energy levels up for me. Let's lose the squat now and just pull opposite elbow to opposite knee. Nice exhale and exhale. Good job. Let's add two kicks now. So you twist, twist, then kick, reach, kick, reach. Just a little combo here to generate a little bit more heat through our body. Good job. Now lose the knees and just kick forward and forward, really reaching for your toes, drawing your navel back. You've got it. Just four more. Three, two, and a one. So good. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, dive forward. Walk your hands out into your plank and let's come into our final exercise. Lower one forearm down at a time and then press back up to your hands, alternating the leading arm each time. You've got it. One more. Well done. Lower back down onto your forearms. And this is where we finish class. So really draw your navel in, press down through your shoulders and either stay here or let's take some salsa hips, dropping one hip down to the floor at a time. You've got it. This is it. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. So good. Lower your knees and press back into a very well-deserved child's pose. Take a nice big sigh of relief and then roll yourself up to seated. Staying on your knees, let's take a nice big inhale. Then exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open through your heart center and exhale, dive forward, bringing your forehead down to the mat. Letting your hands reach up towards the sky to feel a release through your shoulders. Then carefully roll yourself up. Take a nice big inhale, open through your heart center a little bit more and then exhale, release your hands. Beautiful. Come on to your glutes now and extend your legs out in front of you. Let's open our left knee out to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hinge forward, reaching for your right toes. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can here. Taking nice deep breaths. Then roll yourself up, close your left knee in, 
inhale reach your right arm up and exhale twist over your left knee finding length on every inhale and exhale twisting a little bit further beautiful then switch sides extend your left leg open your right knee out inhale reach your arms up and exhale hinge forward folding over your left leg feeling a beautiful release through the back of your left leg and through your right hip flexor. Then carefully roll up, close your right knee in, inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist over your right knee. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing into this twist. Then come back through center and let's take a comfortable cross-legged position on our mat. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to your left. Then other side, inhale, reach your left arm up, exhale, side bend to the right and back through center. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's energizing Pilates class. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and I am wishing you the most beautiful day ahead.